what's going on everyone it's me i'm wearing a shirt rambler here and today we return to oh for god's sake why didn't i set this up you'd think you'd think by now but no hearts of iron 4 and we're doing a new mod oh god this is such a travesty what don't know who's been setting this up. We're playing the Calm Before the Storm mod, which sets Hoi 4 in 1933. And this is the Abata 0.1 Holocon. So, it's a total overhaul mod for Hearts of Iron 4, and it features an in-depth and detailed scenario starting in 1933, featuring many new political options, large new focus trees, and high-quality graphics, according to the mod description. So, of course, if you are happy to see the return of Hearts of Iron, do comment like and click that subscribe button uh, half of you aren't subscribed so if you do want more of this face in your sub box several times a week click subscribe 5,000 likes for more hoy is always the baseline it's an arbitrary number but it engagement helps the channel <laughs> hindenburg just looks done in this portrait just absolutely done he's ready to go Anger against the government, you've got bitter loser, uh, economic crises, yeah. And uh, this is the state of the world in 1933. I don't know what they mean by the pretty graphics. Maybe the new portraits and like the colours have changed a little bit, which is quite nice, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodly goo. China, look at that. Whoo! They're, they're in for a, a time, aren't they? Crumbs. So there are, I think, about a dozen nations with focus trees. Uh, UK, Germany, USSR, US, France, Japan, and it's been a while since we've done a, a game as, as Russia, isn't it? So shall we, shall we give it a go? Yeah, let's just, let's just have a right, I'd be tempted to play as the Weimar Republic. Hmm, I'm going to be typical and just go for, for, go for Weimar. The Weimar. If you played the mod, let me know your thoughts of it in the comments below. I always just do the old uh, Germany's in peril. I always do the initial run. I don't really do a practice playthrough, which is probably to my detriment sometimes. But hey ho, no matter who you ask, Germany is in danger. Oh yeah, he's nearly ninety. <laughs> Why won't they let me retire? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so who remains? The SDP and the German centre left. Okay, and the centre right. Hmm, quite a situation, indeed. Well, what could we do? Hmm, nothing. Can't do a focus. Wow, it's a very uh, expansive focus tree, isn't it? The trees have all been reworked. Okay, okay. Ugh. The amount of factories that you have has certainly been nerfed. Uh, oh, oh. Bicycles and motorcycles. Yes, sir, Bob. I'm going to build them even if I don't need to. Uh, however, we are suffering uh, quite a lot of uh, negative factory output. Oh, dearie me. I believe that's probably because we have the Treaty of Versailles. The Panama Economic Crisis. Yeah, there we go. Anger against the government. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. The National Socialists have the popular support. But <laughs> <he's> <laughs> Mr. Hilter is clearly delusional and some are worried about the excesses of the potential chancellorship. Alternative, Alfred Hugenberg and the N DNVP might be a better choice. Let's go for a democratic candidate, shall we? I can always restart if this goes. Uh, Mr. Hindenburg denounces extremism. Okay, we're sticking with the Weimar Republic. Huh? Oh dear. I can reform or go for moderation. Oh my giddily. So the game is over for you, essentially, and now I have to redo all of the... Oh my god, what a part! I don't know what one to pick. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go for Zentrum, shall we? Yeah. After the death of Gustav Streismann, the People's, the German People's Party have moved significantly rightward. There was ostensibly a Republican Party. Many of its members barely accept it. <laughs> Whew, man, I'm only a month in. I'm going to say it's intolerable. Hitlerist rally in Munich. Oh dear. Come on, Hindenburg, you can pull this out. General strike in Essen. I probably made the incorrect choice here, haven't I? They've had a, there's a battle. Oh my. Who would have thought running a country would be so difficult, eh? Shoot out with the Essen? Oh my. My stability is slowly on the on the downtrend. Whoopsie. Uh, the German civil kerfuffle will be added in 0 0.2. 
For now, a timed national spirit will be given as a penalty. Really? So they've had a... Okay. So it'll be removed in 1935. Huh. Maybe I should have just gone down the regular tree if... if... <laughs> but that that is terrible. Zero percent stability. Things aren't going well. All right, I think where this this branch of the tree just isn't finished at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna redo it, so I'm I'm just gonna end up being uh, regular Germany. <laughs> uh, it's gonna take me until 2105 to make a submarine. <laughs> be quicker if I did it myself, I think. I guess we'll just we'll just go down the normal route. At least we know this will probably be complete, ish. So then that unlocks the focus tree. Okay. And then I could immediately withdraw <laughs> from the League of Nations. Whew. Or I can do this. Yay. Reichstag fire decree. A fire in the... Oh, okay. So we're just we're just going ahead with a fire. Okay. Wow, we're not having a good uh, time here, are we, so far? My, <laughs> my stability is still going down. All right. I'm going to try for one final run through. And still go down the right, but but not the the like extreme right, um, because it unlocks more paths. I think uh, you don't have to be restricted by going down uh, with Mr. Hilter. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hilter? If you think we're on the anyone watch Dad's Army growing up? It's quite a good show. Don't tell him your name, Pike. Yeah, so here we go. We go for the that one, and then we go down to Hugenberg. And the autocratic deposits will become... Uh, remove all head of government ideas, all foreign... Oh my gosh. Change it to the DNVP. Currently, they only have like 6%. They're not popular at all, are they? But Hindenburg's in charge of it, so... Oh, he's in charge of everything, technically. And then we can save the German farmer. We can save the German industry. We've got Alton Pollock. All right, Customs Union of Austria already starting the EU. Well, wow, there we go. Expand military construction. This focus tree is pretty dense. Uh, then we can have like a new Bismarck. Oh. Then Hindenburg is dead, and you can either go for the Führer or the monarchy. Oh. A true conservative party cannot afford to cooperate with dangerous liberals. Oh my god. <laughs> Demonetized. I promise one of these days I won't do a monarchist playthrough. But it is not this day. I could work with the NSDAP. Or I could just go alone. Oh yeah, neither coalition is worth our time. We rule alone. <laughs> Good. Arrest. Arrest them all. Arrest Hilter. Boom. Uh, then I can meet with the Junkers. Alright. Support us or I will crush you. Still holding on to power with 4%. <laughs> Ooh, what size is our army? Nice. <laughs> Tiddly. Oh, we have no choice but to disband the Stahlheim. Yeah, extra 7% stability. Nice. Okay, uh, then we do the old appeal to NSDAP voters. Sure. Oh, I've got 9%. 9% popularity now. That's more than the DVP. The Institute for Sexual Research is closed down. Oh my god. We're going to be back to where we were when I was in secondary school. That my geography teacher <laughs> putting a condom on a banana. That was a weird lesson. Ah! Deutsch National Falbund. Frau. Fraubund. Frau. Der Deutsch National Frauenbund. Oh, alright. Or the German National Women's League. Okay. I can move against the paramilitary. Nice. Then, that'll get rid of that. Oh yeah, my stability's gonna grow. So it's my recruitable population factor! Communism's gone. Protestant values... I guess I have to do all of these, even though some of them give you negative um, stability. Just just going through the motions. Oh, destroy the National Socialists. Boom, boom, boom! Ah, I'm now the German state. I'm no longer the Weimar Republic. Fine. Then we can do the new Bismarck. Alfred Hugenberg clearly possesses all the qualities that Otto von Bismarck had. Okay. Alright, if you say so. I do rather like that all of the focuses have different kind of uh, lengths of time. So some of them are like 42 days, some are 20, some are 7. It works quite nicely. You work through the tree. You work through the trees quite quite quickly. So my party popularity is just increasing. I think mainly because I'm banning everything else. <gasps> 
The economy somewhat recovers. Huzzah! Oh yeah, all the decisions I was making was perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm just banning... I think I'm banning every other party, aren't I? Oh my giddly goo. Okay, now Hindenburg isn't dead yet, so we can't we can't progress. So I guess I'll save the German farmer. You're welcome. Save the German industry. Let's go. I really would like to get rid of that economic crisis. Hindenburg has gone. The Lion of Prussia led the country in both war and peace, and his funeral will ensure that a great hero will be mourned across the nation. Hmm. Crown Prince Wilhelm will be crowned Kaiser Wilhelm. Oh. We're holding a referendum that would abolish the office of the Reichspräsident and restore the Hans Oh. Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even have a choice. Okay, I guess we're getting... Oh, hello, Erwin. Hello, Wilhelm. <laughs> okay, um, right. I didn't even... I didn't even have the option to do the Führer. Hugenberg couldn't even be made Führer. How would I have even done that? I didn't have a choice, did I? All right. Well, after 16 years, the deepest wishes of the German right has come true. Kaiser Wilhelm III now sits at the throne of Germany. A bit disappointing I didn't even get the choice. Maybe I've missed something somewhere. But I probably have. After nearly 30 days of work, the DNVP government has created the new constitution of the German Empire. Okay. Okay. I'm the German Empire again. <laughs> no one's stopping me. Why isn't anyone stopping me? So I could actually deal with the... Hitler still poses a... Just kidding. No, he doesn't. Oh, that's right. I've arrested all of them, haven't I? So I guess he was going to die anyway, so I wouldn't have needed to do all of these, potentially. But let's do a hands-off approach to the economy. Get a couple of civilian factories. How are we doing? Okay, our industry's slowly growing. Good. Oh, okay. Um, there's a bit of a kerfuffle going on in Spain already, in 1934. Completely normal. Oh, gosh, I'm not even... I really should be getting those. Give me the panzers. Give me the panzers. Okay... Let's do this. The secret imperial police. Get them in. Then we'll do aristocratic restoration. Good. I'll just do the old nobility. Anything to increase my stability, really. That's all I care about. The mod is actually running really smoothly. I guess, like, there aren't really any wars going on, right? So you wouldn't really expect it to struggle. But yeah, it's progressing quite nicely. Five speeds running, running quite nice. Lower taxes. Yep. I like low taxes. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 I've got, I've got, uh, yeah, actually, let's get, let's get some Stukas. But yeah, I'm going to try and work on getting an Air Force already, but it's, I, I'm producing one a year, so, <laughs> it's, uh, tough times. Big business is saved. Oh, can't we focus on the smaller business? I guess I've saved farmers too, right? So, I'm doing it for everyone. And, oh, the economy has recovered. That's what we wanted. So that means we get rid of that. Boom, and that's going to change our industry around. Oof, baby. Yep, I'm producing stuff normally now. Kind of. Oh, I can finally build more than one factory at a time. Uh, <laughs> just just about. <laughs> I, I think that this mod is going to be really good for players that really want to spend quite a lot of time building up. Still completely out of manpower, though. I think this is the Treaty of Versailles. How do I get rid of it? Oh, I should probably start expanding military construction. I'm looking and I don't see where to get rid of it. Leave the League of Nations though. Goodbye. Yeah, let's do the plebiscite in Saarland. The evil French hold key portion of our territory. Get out of here. Ah, we want it back. Ah, oh, good. It goes with me. Bam. Take that. Flaws. Oh, Italy's gone after Ethiopia. We were almost at the point where uh, the game would have started now, but I I'm in a position where I'm still not I still don't think I'm in the best state. This whole Treaty of Versailles thing really is just a drag, you know? I can protect the farmers completely. Okay. Success, I guess. Inflation. Oh, we cannot. We cannot. I can't begin official rearmament because I still have the Treaty of Versailles. Mm. Maybe it's an event? Oh, 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 oh. No, screw award more contracts. I'm going to remilitarize the Rhineland. Oh, Give it. I'm in no position to actually demand this, by the way, with the amount of troops that I have. <laughs> I would just get easily annihilated. Ha ha! Germany is back! Pachow! Now I'll put my ten whole divisions on the border and just cry. Oh, I just need to reintroduce conscription. Oh gosh, frickin'. That was it. I could have got rid of that ages ago. I'm such a moron sometimes. Oh man. It's... Mm, that's me not reading properly. Where are my glasses? I clearly need them. Oh, I could have been building such a massive military. 
my industry is so far behind what it would be normally. Oh, this is bad, man. All of our ten divisions, we're going to change to infantry and mit. We just don't have any manpower. Uh, <laughs> got a Spanish revolution going on, and what can I do? Nothing, mate. Sorry, you're on your own. Whatever goes on here, whatever. Just leaving him to it. Oh, Catalonia's declared independence. All right, reintroduce conscription. The Treaty of Versailles is dead. The German military must receive a large expansion to serve as the arbiter of Germany's will. Right, we're going to start getting some manpower and really just, like, thrusting everywhere. Begin official rearmament. Oh, boy. It's going to happen. 68,000 troops ready for deployment. Great. But, yeah, my economy is still in the bucket. <laughs> I thought I was doing really well, but... I don't know if this mod really nerfs you. Who knows? Anger against the government. Why are people still angry? I've improved their situation so much. Oh, it's the blood and soil and the privatisation that really just screws my oh, uncontrolled inflation. Oh, God. Maybe if I finish this tree, that'll help. But I don't know if I'm going to be any threat to the world at all. I'm certainly not at the moment. Okay, Germany's Grand Army. 106,000. We're getting there. We're getting there. What's the size of my air force, I hear you say? Well, friendo. Oh my god, this is pathetic. 18 planes. Oh my god. How long does it take me to build a freaking factory? December? Oh. Uh, people grow re weary of a dictatorship. I hate this. <laughs> oh man. I'm so nerfed. I wonder how much testing this mod has had. Because I am struggling to build anything. Maybe it's just my choices. May I add... Oh, look at all that. Oof. Improve public opinion. Remove anger against the government. And that will give me an extra 15% stability. That's good. We've improved our public opinion. Now we just coerce the churches. With my negative political power. <laughs> stability goes up. Then we do the Reich Reborn. Which gives us extra stability again. Okay, then I think we can move on to various other bitties and boppities. And I do see what they mean now by the pretty graphics. Like, the, these custom sim- Like, you know, national focuses and stuff do look very- That even goes in here. It stretches the flag, it stretches. Okay, we've completed that entire tree now. I need to expand the army. Yeah, this is the bad route. I think that this is probably the bad route too. Oh my gosh. The Crown is concerned about the treatment of the nobility. Loyal Germans, party members even, have been left at the wayside. Hmm. It would be easier to give His Majesty what he wants. Yes. Give it all to me. Kaiser Wilhelm insults Hugenberg. I have been in politics for longer than you have ever controlled anything. I don't know. Right, let's do a customs union with Austria. How does that sound? Public row. Both the Kaiser and the Reichskanzler have snapped. Whoopsie. It's the Kaiser favour lost. What has this childish fool ever done for us? So we now put someone else in charge. Uh, if I put Gordella in, the focus tree changes again. Austria joins our custom union. Nothing happened. It is clear the Austrians cannot be pressured into joining the Reich. However, the military option remains. Can I even take them? That's the thing. I need the factories. Like, my industry is never going anywhere at this point. We run. We run in. We annihilate them. Keep moving. Don't even have an air force. My 18 planes. Fly, my pretties. If only I have political power to change my conscription law. Walked into Vienna. That's the only way I'm going to be able to win. Is just by uh, taking their tiles when they're too dumb to realise that they've left them undefended. <laughs> oh, they've realised. Because I, I, I can't delete them fairly in a normal war. This is this is horrible. Getting the Kaiser back was horrible for the uh, for Germany, it seems. Well, I have a few more factories now. Not that many, though. What? Widespread corruption gives me stability. Okay, <laughs> sure. Hungary's joined the Pact of Rome. Really? Uh, Joseph Stalin's died, and Mikhail Kalinin has taken over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks a little bit like Trotsky, but Stalin is dead. But you're going to try and stay popular. <laughs> Oh, I need more tension. Uh, oh, that's annoying. All right, well, let's try and demand the Sudetenland with my 24 divisions. I thought that the UK, uh, France had joined the Allies, but I guess they haven't. Maybe I can capitulate them before France comes in, but I mean, come on. Get them in place first before I answer. Deploy them. Cancel any future divisions because we clearly right, can't afford them. So I'm going to be at war with France. I can't garrison my 
ports. Well, why not, eh? Why not? Oh, right. I should not have done this to Denton Land that quickly. Uh, there is literally no way that I can do this. I, I've, I've, I've gone through this event multiple times. I only have my auto save, so I can't even go back my cancel my focus. I will have to just refuse. My stability goes down permanently. Um, and I'm just going to go after Poland instead. Yeah, this is the most nerfed I've ever seen Germany. Bulgaria's joined the Pact of Rome. Everyone's joining them. No one's joining me. All right. Fine. I would like territory, please. Uh, the summit begins with Italy. Okay. I would just say this deal works for us. Successful summit. We've got a non-aggression pact of Italy. Revolt in the USSR. We've got a decent amount of divisions. I will therefore recognize Russia. Not that it really matters. Soviet Union's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, they've got zero stability or war support. Whoa. Uh, but yeah, I've never played a mod that's nerfed Germany this much. I don't know if it's just, if it's just my playstyle, but I've never, ever played Germany and in 1939 uh, been on less than 100 factories. The Polish Republic has joined the Allies. Uh, I'm going to have to switch to military factories, but I, I'm not really in an economic position to. It's 15% world tension. Assassination attempt on the Kaiser. Long live the Kaiser. And your stability just keeps going down. Okay. The UK is just guaranteeing everyone. Brilliant. Oh, well, at least the Kingdom of Hungary joined our faction now. There is no balancing to this whatsoever, is there? I can see why it's like a an alpha release. Oh, okay. It looks like the Soviets are probably going to be okay. <laughs> Russia appears to be on the way out. Russia asked for weapons. I don't have any. The, I don't have any resources, mate. What do you want from me? <sighs> the Kingdom of Romania has joined the Allies. That's something you don't see every day. It is impossible <laughs> to get decent stability. Like, I'm building up and building up and building up as quickly as I've been able to, but it's just absolute bullshit. See, why can't I justify on nations, but other nations can join factions and the UK can guarantee people and stuff? Let's do a communique with Danzig. The Poles have insulted us for too long. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just going to get uh, the Annex War goal against the French Republic. Oh, Iron Wolf Lithuania. I will demand Mamel land. Could I have Mamel? Go on, son. Oh my god, look at that haircut. <laughs> Woo! Oh, well, we've got Memel. Thank you. The Baltic Alliance. Sure. I'll take anyone. All three of you want to join me? Come on in. I could do with more divisions. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Look how many troops they've got on my border. They've all joined me. Praise be. <laughs> I might be actually be able to take out Poland now, but then I still got to take out the UK. You can see my predicament. And that would be tempting to initiate the plan now. Mm, I think I might still go and try and get Czechoslovakia first. I shouldn't really be doing anything. I should just be staying in my little, little hole and not coming out. My economy is simply pathetic. I'm just going to have to make a gamble soon and just hope I can do something. But... I, I can assure... Italy cancels the non-aggression pact. But, uh, yeah, where you can't justify on any nations, it leaves you in a very difficult choice. I uh, <laughs> I would not recommend playing as Germany in this mod at the moment. At least not doing what I've been doing. So maybe you just don't do what I do? But I don't think I've, I've... I don't think I've made too many mistakes. But, yeah, it's 1940. This might be the most boring video I have ever released. Could you imagine? Yes. I bet you could. Like, the initial part was exciting. Just give me world tension, man. Just give me world tension. I need it. I need mobilisation or death. Oh, I've forgotten to even research tanks. Everyone just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger, so I'm just going to dip a cookie in my tea and forget about it. Mm. Liberate Slovenian Voigtsdorscher. Sure, why not? Oh. Kingdom of Hungary accepts the proposal. All right. And Yugoslavia folds. Good. You can't say I haven't got more territory than I started with. Because I have, technically. Oh, look at this modern Blitzkrieg. Yet I have no... <laughs> no tankies to Blitzkrieg with. Yay. What a pathetic state my Germany is. I'm in July 1940. I've got to take a risk and, and try and take out France now, I think. Well, try and take them out. I mean, try and bait them into 
asking Czechoslovakia into the war. Because there's no way I'm getting through otherwise. Okay. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Why does that give me zero? You just can't justify on nations. It's dumb. But they'll hopefully start taking casualties pretty soon. We've been joined. I will certainly take the Italian volunteers. Tar very muchly. I'm holding. For now. <laughs> Mole House is struggling though. Oh god damn. That's basically the same as Mill House. Frickin' Mill House. Okay. Let's deploy those eight. Oh, that's all we're getting. Our friends in Spain might have an interest in French land. Go on, son. Go on. Jose. Jose. The casualties look alright. A thousand to 115,000. So the French are hemorrhaging troops. I just need to be able to keep holding. Spain presents conditions. Spanish Republic joins the Berlin Axis. I gain the national spirit, which grants me negative and consumer goods. I need it. Join me. Come on! No. Are you serious, mate? Oh, you utter pillock. You utter pillock. Why couldn't you just join when they didn't have troops on the border? But no, you have to... And I'm giving them economic aid! That's the real, like, smarting... Oh, now they join. Oh, they... oh no, they're through. They're through. Okay. Can't do any of these. Can't do the Manstein plan. Nope. But France, though. Look at their casualties racking up. Hey! It's just this particular tile that I am uh, really struggling on. Do we have area superiority? Yes. Good. Oh, Spain. They're collapsing already. Frickin' hell, how many frickin' troops does France have? Okay, well, Spain's dead. We just need, like, Italy to declare war on them now, too. They're reconciling Greece. What does that even mean? <laughs> I would like to know why Czechoslovakia hasn't been called in. Is it because I have an army on the border? I'll move them away. And then I'll do, like, a psych. So if I decided to go after Belgium, the war has come. We have one goal. Victory at all costs. Are they come sallying out? At least that was the plan. How many divisions does Belgium have? A fort like 40 divisions? Shit. Shouldn't be swearing. <laughs> but that is uh, that was unexpected. What kind of casualties are they on? They're already at 70,000. Okay. How have they taken Essen? There's very little I can do. I don't have the divisions to protect my cities. Belgium is pushing and pushing successfully. I mean, if, if I just try to do a bit of a cheeky advance, it's not going to happen, is it? I mean, I might take back my city. We built this city. Boo, 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 boo. We built this city on corpses, yeah. Like, my divisions are better than theirs. In fact, we could encircle a bunch of them. Hey, we have. Well, that's nine, nine Belgian divisions on the way out. Good. Oh, no, 17, 16. How many was... That was a good portion of their army. Okay, um, I've annihilated the Belgian army. We might be here a while. I mean, I could just try and bait them in again. They must be out of manpower. Oh, no, they're, no, they're not. Okay. Wow, we pushed them. We're overrun. I'm overrunning them with my infantry, apparently. And uh, now we go. France hasn't reacted. They've kept all of their divisions <laughs> there. If I'm able to do this, I think I might capitulate them. They... I Triumph in France... Why is the AI so dumb? Oh! Let's start taking some territory now, shall we? I was not expecting that. So, I guess I'll now go on to uh, Poland and take out Poland. This has gone a bit different to how I had envisaged not too long ago. <laughs> What's happened to Spain's army, though? Just don't call them in, Alex. Just don't call them in. Gain annex war goal against the Polish Republic. I did not get said war goal. I'll take my claim state then. Poland has a lot of divisions too. This is border gore. Such border gore. Oh boy. I think I'll do okay. Maybe against Poland? I don't know. I just need this to happen quickly. I called my allies. Why oh, I called Spain. Not good. However, it appears the AI are cycle charging me again. Wait, Yugoslavia's in the... Oh, Hungary has capitulated. Oh, Romania's in the Allies too. I forgot about that. <gasps> Yay! Italy's coming to save me. Thanks, buddy.
Ah, oh, fuck. Look at Spain. The utter incompetence of my allies never ceases to amaze me. And the game has broken air again. Um, I guess I can't finish the scenario then. Right, maybe third time's the charm. Maybe. It's a shame if this does keep freezing. Yep, it freezes on the March 14th uh, as it tries to tick over. Um, so I guess that's it, unfortunately. I don't have a previous save game to really go back to. Mm. So, my thoughts. Uh, it's good. It definitely needs a lot of work. So does my like like my webcam. Uh, overall, I enjoyed my time with the mod. There are some frustrating things, like you just can't build up a powerful Germany. At least from what I could see. Um, but yeah, it's definitely got promise. I will hopefully come back to this mod once it's a bit more updated. Uh, but if you did enjoy this, basically me just clicking on things for however many hours I've been recording now, um, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, yeah. It's got promise, the mod. Just a shame that it, it freaking crashed and I can't continue it. Uh, I imagine I probably would have won that war in the end. I was getting powerful enough to do that. So, yeah, I think that I probably would have beaten the Allies and then called it a day after that. Um, yeah, hopefully you had a good, 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 you got to see what the mod's all about. Uh, just, in, just, just as like another start date, really, and a ton of new national focuses and, and other like tech trees and stuff but yeah I'll, I'll stop i'll stop waffling goodbye many thanks to onion duck seth cutter sturbic maximilian foreman wyatt green zachariah mosby tad house cobby was taken met zoov vash warren p george dave dy the don valhalla halls yeah boy ryan cock jack troku jiggly crotch use beef sean young and logan whaley for being ridiculous for supporters on patreon and many thanks to all the patrons too